Hello everybody and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's play some Hearts of Iron 4 as Germany. Okay, so that's interesting. Russian Empire. What did it say? Russian Empire is just fine against us. That was weird. Okay, anyway, um, that was strange. So let's take a look at the Reich. Um, we conquered the Soviet Union. All of this is owned by the Axis. We're attacking into Africa, a lot of Africa. We're trying to attack the United Kingdom. I actually just realized what happened down here. We have some, um, check that out. We have some American troops in Spain. Oh. Let's actually go ahead and split off. Like 48 divisions from Von Kleist. And let's get him over here to Von Ruchtin. Um Yeah. Yeah, that'll be okay. Let's deploy him over here to that line. So right now we're on occupation duty. And the second thing we're doing is we're trying to secure Um the English Channel from the enemy. Let's take a look at this here. We've lost in the past couple of days. The enemy's lost 4,300 fighters. We've lost 3,100. We're producing 28.7 per day. It's May 1943. We're working on a lot of industrial tech and um, nuclear tech right now. And later on, once we definitely finish up a lot of these repairs, we're going to be working on uh, building up naval bases and trying to invade the UK. So for now, actually this air game has gone pretty well. We've lost 3000 to their 4200. So eventually this number, we're gonna surpass them, right? We're gonna, we're gonna be um, in better conditions than they are. Why do all these guys have the same color? Let's change that. Let's do green, yellow, and orange. Okay, so green is Von Bruchstedt. He's over here. Okay, good. So when he's ready, we can make that invasion happen. I have 41 troops occupying Poland. 143 divisions occupying basically the, all of the Atlantic Wall. Okay, we got some research. We just finished up the encryption decryption. Let's work on some radar for now. How's our production? Uh, planes are planes are coming along. We need about three thousand of them of the fighters. Uh, whoa. Um, be advised, there are some performance issues with Hearts of Iron Four, especially this late in the game. Uh, we need support equipment as well. Hmm. Just because there's so much going on with the game, it does hang a little bit. So, I'm trying to be a little easy on it. Um, it might be slow grinding for a little while. We need so much close air support. So many factories need to be repaired. Holy shit. We're really good on resources, though. We have surpluses of just about everything, so... We'll be okay there. Are we getting any civilian factories from trade? Let's take a look at it. I'm importing tungsten, huh? Let's get rid of that import. We get 58 civilian factories from trade. 59 now. Not bad. Not bad at all. He's uh, he's ready for this plan. Portugal. Portugal. You want to join the Axis? The Estado Novo was going on right now. Lines with Spain, obviously. How's that national focus? Uh, Italy. Italy's actually been pretty good in, North, in, in Africa, so... Uh, the fall of Gibraltar. We actually just took Gibraltar? Oh. Okay, I didn't know that. Oh, that's right, so I can seal off the Mediterranean now. Huh. And then Italy's already had Egypt on the occupation for a while, so no more Suez. We've lost uh, 835,000 men in this war. Allies have lost a lot more. The U.S. has taken... Wow, only 600,000 casualties. Not bad. Okay. Not bad at all. Let's check out the air situation. We're actually getting the upper hand on the enemy here. We've lost 483 fighters in the past couple of days. They've lost 629. So we're definitely making some progress. It's actually really good progress. Uh, I'm very impressed. 
with my fighters and how they've been doing. Um, we're just going to keep pumping out fighters and we're going to be able to eventually surpass them. What's a the navy? I don't think I'm producing anything for the navy right now, am I? Convoys. Um, yeah, we'll need some more. Destroyers, light cruisers, and battle cruisers. We need more dockyards. That's what we need. Why is Leningrad... What the hell? Why, why do they keep putting Leningrad as the primary base? Tony, I want Schleswig Holstein. Let's put an admiral there. Oh my god. This guy right here. Holy shit. So we lost our surface fleet, but that's okay. We'll come back from it. Looks like Sweden has some troops somewhere. It's weird. Ooh, they actually just retook Gibraltar. We should try and hold on to Gibraltar if I can help it. I love the uh, animations there. It's pretty nice. So it's going to be a slow, kind of grindy campaign now. We don't need any more land forces. But we do need our air forces. Rocket sites? No. No, I don't think they're going to be useful. Strategic destruction, naval doctrine. Naval doctrine would be nice. I should try and work on that when I can. Um, right now, I think fighters is a priority. We're making 30 fighters a day. Medium tanks are, are being cleared up. We need towed artillery. Um, it's not a huge priority right now, though. The, the land game is, is honestly essentially over. Uh, Japan's going to finish up China. We do need to invade the British Raj. That's right. We were trying to invade here for a while. And we're not able to do it. I'm thinking because of supply. That's my, that's my thought. So... Getting around them would be would be nice. Um, you know what I should do instead? This is Von Kluge. Let's cancel his plans and let's make a border with China. And we're going to offer to join China's war. Naval invasion in northern France will be all right. In fact, I think I don't. I don't think the enemy can actually guarantee air superiority anymore. I think I just have way too many uh, fighters and under under um, construction. I just don't think they're able to do it. We're we're able to kill a lot more of their fighters than they are. So this obviously doesn't need occupation. Um, what to do with these men? Let's check out, you know what I do want to check out? Let's come over here to our naval trees. I need to get this landing craft. Because right now my naval vision capacity is only um, 10. Yeah. Whoopsies. Let's go ahead and garrison southern Spain, just in case. You never know. Plenty of occupation here in the north. Except for maybe Paris. Eh, it's going down. Yeah, it's going down. Um, since we have... We can manage to occupy territories a little differently. Belgium, we don't need the manpower. We can actually probably just push this on, on harshest. Poland. Unrest will go down. We actually have free military factors right now. Holy shit. Okay, so what do I need to produce? Preferably more fighters. 
Don't imagine this gonna be a problem. Um, let's just keep building them. You know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And then uh, we want to join this conflict, right? We're not at war with China yet. I do want to invade China just just in a bit. Um, we're gonna we're gonna deploy these troops. It's gonna take them a little bit of time. Supplies is, is a big issue here. We have resistance to occupation, Luxembourg and Ile de France. Wow, hundred percent resistance growth. Damn, we're not getting anything from those occupied territories. That's right. I guess I guess we need to occupy some of this here. Let's garrison some of this. These are all veteran ass troops. These guys actually aren't. These guys, most of them are. Most of them are at least trained. These guys are also quite veteran. Yeah, so I have um, just about 3.3 million men in the army. I have 40,000 men in the Luftwaffe. And I have 1,000 men in the Navy. Hopefully this will increase. We're going to get some destroyers. We're not building any subs right now. These repairs are going to go. Um, can I reduce my conscription law any, anyhow? I'm on all adults serve. Can I go to like service bar requirement or something? Oh yeah, check that out. That's weird. 7% of the eligible core population. 7% of 84.52 is I guess 6.13 million. Okay. Weird. We got total mobilization, limited exports. We could go up, but I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it alone for now. Can we go up to speed four? I think when I go up to speed four, the game has uh, performance issues, but we'll, we'll leave it. How's Vichy France? They have 25 divisions. Not bad. How's the air game over here? We are just, we're just chipping away at these guys. We're just producing so many fighters, much more than what they can muster. Actually, let's take a look. You know what I do want to take a look at is their air bases. So apparently I'm not damaging anything here. Once we get the advanced oil plants and some of the atomic research, I do want to start trying for um, some, some naval tech. Because we still need to defeat the Royal Navy. If they have one. Yeah, I guess they do. There it is, it's hanging again. Exiled divisions. Okay. And let's prepare for this. Let's offer to join the Japanese. Really? Actually, wow, they don't want me to join in the Chinese war. Interesting. That's very interesting. Hmm. Okay, so I can't help out Japan then. So there's not much else to do if I can't invade the British Raj. I might have to... I could declare war in Afghanistan. Um, in fact, let's go ahead and just do that. Let's prepare for an invasion of Afghanistan. Let's invade Afghanistan and then we'll we'll just strike at the British Raj as, as fast as we can. It's gonna take some time. Hmm. Italy's conquered their new Novus Imperium on them. How's our equipment? Toad artillery. Medium tanks are being taken care of. The fighters are being taken care of. The close air support we're not producing. I think it's only when I open this production screen. Isn't that weird? Okay. We need oil. Not a big surprise.
Armaments organizer, fortification engineer. Let's go for um, the landing craft tech. Yeah, 42 days. I want to try and see if I can start to prepare a naval invasion. Uh, supply issues. Obviously. We're capped out on land experience. Not a big surprise there. Hmm. We're making progress, I think, in Africa, actually. Beyond all the odds. How are these light cruisers and these destroyers doing? Get some defeats of um, convoys in the English Channel. I think we can send these occupation forces back to France. I think that'd be fine. How's occupation in Poland? It's pretty good. And the Navy. The Navy's pretty, pretty crappy. Yeah. We lost our entire surface fleet. I think we'll be good on convoys for a little while. Let's go ahead and start building... Destroyers, light cruisers, maybe heavy cruisers. These are battle cruisers. Okay. Um, well, in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and take a quick break here. And we will continue on with the war in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you soon. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment.